Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shop and welcome to the first installment to the channel. Because this is the first video that we'll be posting for the channel, I just wanted to start things off by dedicating this to my wife and my kids. Uh, this is my attempt at following down a dream and turning it into a pretty decent uh, living. And in doing so, I hope to inspire them and prove to them that it's possible. So with that being said, let's get to work. Okay guys, it was a tough decision, uh, but I think for our first project we're going to be going with this uh, here piece of ash. Uh, a lot of guys would probably say that looks like uh, firewood. Let's see what's inside or see if we can't make something something cool out of this. So, let's get started, let's get this cut up.
Brad, I think we're on to something. So we will use this as our blank. And let's go figure out how we are going to mold this up for some resin. day two getting back to our double crotch ash bowl let's see what uh, we find in the pressure pot here hopefully this turns out right Looking pretty good in there, if I might say so myself. All right, let's get it over to the bench, get our pulled apart, and see what we got. All in all, not too bad. Looks pretty good. So today is about a week after we pulled this uh, ash out of the pressure pot. And as you can see, it started to develop some cracks as soon as I pulled it out of the pot. So I let it sit in a nice dry warm spot to help uh, help develop these out and see how far they were going to go. I didn't want to continue working on this uh, and then just have it all break apart. So what we're going to do is try and operate around this problem, see if we can salvage this and use this as an opportunity to just add a little more of this color 
and make it just that much more unique. So moving forward, I'm gonna clean up all this extra. We'll isolate all of our cracking and I will get to injecting some resin into here and see what we can do with it. I just don't wanna throw it out. So that's enough of the cleanup for now. Get some resin mixed up. We'll try and match this color and we will start shooting it into these cracks. Returning to our duct tape masterpiece. Uh, yesterday we were filling up all these cracks. I was following up, uh, damming them up <laughs> with some duct tape here. Uh, we're just going to peel this off and see what we got. See how much more work there is to do. Tilt you down here, get you on the ball. All right, let's unwrap this guy. It's like Christmas. Could have been better, could have been worse. I'm gonna touch up the outside here and that'll help us to see what other cracks we need to follow up with. And go from there. Well, we have paid a chip. guiding we need. I can see the spots that need some touch up. I'm gonna get a small batch of resin mixed up, get our color matched, and we'll get to it. I might have to take a little carving knife to some of these spots, open them up, so we can get the resin down in there. But yeah, not too bad. I think it's still gonna be a really neat piece.
All right, well, I'm gonna get this all taped up and that's gonna get us another step ahead and we will check back tomorrow and take a look at the progress that we've made. So we got most of this sanded out now. Um, I can see a couple little imperfections here or there, but I'm gonna go ahead and start hollowing this out. And once we get the walls thin, then we'll have better access to the remainder of these cracks. We'll get them filled up. Um, we'll get set up and we'll get going with that. All right, so I've gone and cleaned up most of the bowl. I picked out a lot of that spalted stuff. I'll show you here in a second. Some of these holes here. That one goes through. It's kind of neat. <laughs> um, got this guy here on the inside. And just giving you a view of what it looks like here. So coming along just fine. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put a coat of um, sanding sealer on here so that when I add resin to fill in some of these areas, we don't have to worry about it sinking into the grain of the wood and then we have to grind through it and all that. So I uh, will get a coat of sanding sealer on this, get it sealed up and I'll just start kicking away at what's left of these little imperfections and doing touch ups. And I'll check back with you then. 
Today is tomorrow, all over again. Uh, we are back working on our shattered crotch bowl. Ow. All right, well, here we go. As you can see, she's all loaded up with band-aids again. Uh, went through some touch-ups yesterday. Squirted a little more resin. I had to wait another half a day for it to cure. So we're gonna pick up where we left off and peel off these band-aids and see where we're at. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and on three. Ready? One, three. Ooh, look at that. You know what? I think I'm alright with what I'm seeing. We're gonna get a uh, nice seal coat on this anyway. I'll make sure to pay some special attention to some of these spots. But I'm really liking how this is turning out. Better than firewood. Alright, let's move forward and get this all sanded out. Let's get it ready for a uh, seal coat. Well, we have Tater Chip. Right, picking it up where we put her down. We're back to work on the cracked ash bowl. Got her right here. Got about, I think, three coats of resin on this with a bunch of touch ups in between. She's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna run through with the micro mesh and just take out any little surface imperfections and see if we can't get this polished out today. So come along and check it out. This is our first video. We will call this number one.
All right, it's done. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. I think it came out pretty nice. Not too bad for our first uh, project, first video. Um, this is the first time I ever made a video for anything, so bear with me. We can only get better. Um, I think it turned out pretty well, though. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave a comment. If you like this stuff, get ready for more. I'm hoping, figuring, depending on the projects, uh, we're going to do at least one a week, and I'd like to do some filler in between, some smaller stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that. And thanks for sticking around. Like, subscribe, get the bell on, and I'll see you in the next one.